If you're following AI, you've probably heard a lot about AI agents. These are tools that utilize AI to go out and perform multi-step tasks using their own logic and reasoning to help complete whatever you ask them to do. In this video, we're going to use Crew AI to create various multi-step AI workflows and run them using a local LLM on our own computer. For example, here, a user is using Crew AI to analyze job candidate data, summarize each candidate, and assign a score based on their fitness for the role. I'm gonna show you how to do something similar in this video. We're gonna set up Crew AI. We're gonna use it to go out and conduct some research on AI and then write a blog post. This is a pretty standard boilerplate example from Crew that we're modifying to use a local LLM. So we're gonna use AI that is just running on our computer versus using a web-based AI model. And we're gonna be doing that using Mozilla's Llama file. Llama file allows you to download LLM models and run them on your local computer. So I'm gonna show you how to set that all up, give you the code to run this workflow and show you how you can modify it for your own purposes. So if we look at the documentation for Crew AI, it'll guide us through how to install it. It's a Python package, uh, so we can install that with pip. If you've used Python before, probably done this many times with other modules. And then it will tell us how to connect to any LLM. Crew is compatible with all Langchain LLM components. Now, you don't have to use Langchain compatible components. As you can see from this sidebar here, there's lots of other ways you can integrate large language models, uh, models on Hugging Face, OpenAI, Cohere, Azure, but Langchain is gonna make it easy for us and it's gonna allow us to use Llama file. Now, what's Langchain? Well, if we head over to their website, you can see it's sort of this orchestration framework of a lot of the common things that you would need to do that sit across various different AI tools. It's helping you facilitate that connection between your models, your tools, your prompts, and it's going to allow us to use Llama file to do local agent workflows. So if we look at Langchain, we can see all the LLMs that it supports. There's a ton of them. We see Llama file here, and if we click into Llama file, we can see how this setup works. So this is a primer on how to download a model and run it using Llama file. And by the way, why would you want to run something locally versus just go to ChatGPT? Well, it's not costing you money, your information stays private, and you could potentially give it access to local documents to use as a basis of knowledge for its responses. So let's go ahead and jump into the code. The code is coming from this GitHub repo. You can clone it, modify these examples to do whatever you want them to do. You can read the readme for how to set this up, but we're gonna walk through that right now. And then there are various different scripts that we can run depending on what we wanna do with our crew agents. The boilerplate workflow that I mentioned is researching AI and writing a blog post. And that we can find in this app.py. And by default, it's gonna use OpenAI. Just to take you through how that's set up, we've installed Crew AI via pip. You can install these other dependencies, Crew AI tools, same way, pip install Crew AI tools, uh, pip install.n for your secrets. And these secrets live in this env sample file. So we're gonna need a couple of API keys. One is the OpenAI API key. The other is this serper API key. What's serper? Well, it's just an API for using Google search. So this allows our AI to go out and get information from the web versus just using the information that it was trained on. So it allows it to stay current with whatever's happening in the state of AI in this example. Once we create an account with Serper, we can go to our API key here and paste into this side of the equals equation here. Same thing with the OpenAI API key. And in this example, we're specifying that the model we're gonna use is the new, at the time of this recording, GPT-4.0 for optimized. Now we just need to set up our crew workflow. The way that we do this is we specify these agents. So we have a researcher agent and a writer agent. We're calling this function agent and passing a bunch of parameters. So the role of this agent is going to be the researcher. We give it a goal. You could specify whatever you want here. Uh, we're telling it to uncover cutting edge developments in AI and data science. We're gonna specify verbose. That's gonna give us a little more output in our terminal here. 
as it runs, just in case anything goes wrong, we're going to give it access to the Serper tool that we just specified in our ENV file. Then for the next task, we need a writer. So that writer is another agent. It's a tech content strategist. We're giving it the goal of crafting a compelling story on tech advancement. And so now that we have those agents, we specify their tasks using this task function. Again, we're passing these parameters, a description, what we're expecting as an output. So a full analysis report in bullet points for the researcher and a blog post for paragraphs for the writer. We're tying it to our agents that we set up. So our researcher and our writer. And then these two agents make up our crew. So we call this crew function. We pass it the researcher and the writer. We pass it the tasks. And again, we're telling it to be verbose in its outputs. So we know what's happening. And then we just call crew.kickoff. So really legible, intelligent workflow with crew AI. Really like that. And in this particular example, I am going to have it write a markdown file with that blog post so that I could then just copy and paste that. So let's see what that looks like to run. Python app.py, and now it's running this workflow, and it's giving us the output of all of the things that it's doing. So this content in green here is its thought process, and then this content in purple are the things that it's accessing. So it's saying, to conduct a comprehensive analysis of AI advancements, I need to go search the internet, gather information. And so then it's doing that. It's using Serper and we see some search results. For example, this YouTube video, the most important AI trends in 2024. Then it's got a LinkedIn post, top AI developments for 2024 and beyond. You see the links, we see a snippet from those posts. So you can see it's got subsequent thoughts here where it is gathering sources of information that are focused on different things, actually. So this time, it's doing a search on AI in customer service. And so its search query is AI in customer service trends 2024. And it gets a whole new set of articles to gather information from. So it's pretty smart. Now that it's done this, it says, I now can give a great answer, final answer. In 2024, several key trends occurred and here we go, we've got our bulleted list. It's got an overview of that trend, examples of the trend, and the impact that they had. So it is going to take this information as the researcher and feed it to the writer. Here's our output from the writer. And you can see now, instead of a bulleted list, we have this markdown formatted blog post. The AI Renaissance of 2024, Transformative Trends and Technologies. We got a little intro here. We've got different sections on generative AI expansion, ethical AI, low code and no code AI, et cetera. So it's really doing a good job of segmenting out these AI advancements into their different categories. And we have this markdown file. I can see that it's even broken the information hierarchy down into different heading levels. Now this is all working using the OpenAI API. If we want to get this running locally, we need to follow the Llama file installation instructions. So the first thing we need to do is get a model. And in this case, I'm going to get Llama 2 because it will have a context window that's long enough that I can pass in all of this research that I'm doing. So in my terminal, I'm going to just run wget to get this file. And if we look at the address here, this is a model that's hosted on Hugging Face. It's got that dot llama file extension and it's gonna start installing here. And once I've got that model, you'll see it show up in my file system here. And we can move on to the next step, which is to make this file executable. So we just run this chmod command plus x is executable. And now we can run that llama file. Last step in the process is to actually get this model running on our system. So if I run that file, it's gonna start up and you can see it says llama server listening at this address. If we were to pull that up in our browser, we see it gives us a little graphical user interface. But the other thing that it does is it makes this available as an API endpoint so that we can integrate it with Langchain and crew. Now we're gonna need this terminal running so I'll open up another terminal window and now we just need to execute 
our multi-agent llama file script. So Python llama file multi-agent app, run that, and it's going to do the same thing really that we saw in this app.py. So you can see it's starting to gather search results. And there you go, it's got its blog post written. And so you can see while it's gone out to the internet to conduct searches, it's not hitting up chat GPT for anything in particular. It's using our local model to do all of the AI related logic. So I'd encourage you to play around with this and other examples in the repo. If you read the readme, there is an example of how to get up and running with Olama. If you prefer to use that instead of llama file, there's a very simple llama file example that just constructs a limerick about llamas, a real hello world example that runs much faster and allows you to use much smaller models if you want to try using different models. And speaking of different models, you can see all the different llama file compatible models by clicking on that tagging hugging face. There's a ton of them. Here's the one that we got, but there's also Mistral 7B. So we could just get this with that same wget command, make it executable with chmod, and then run the llama file to start our server before executing our Python script. I'll have more tutorials on llama file and crew AI for agent workflows in the future. One thing I'd like to do is set up a command line interface that walks you through automatically creating these agent workflows without having to edit the code. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you make with this. Thanks a lot.